Welcome to another video in the Geography Skills series for the Wimbledon Channel. Today we're going to be looking at longitude and latitude. These coordinates sprung from one simple question. Where on earth are you? I mean, I find it hard enough to find matching socks in my bedroom. But can you imagine trying to find a boat in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? So how do they do it? Great question, man with a high-pitched voice and disembodied head. Well, I'll tell you. They basically carve the world up into different segments. And we call these longitude and latitude. Let's skip to a quick video to see an explanation. All right, let's begin with the world. And what we're gonna do with the world is we're gonna cut it in half. We'll get a little line and somewhere smack bang in the middle, we'll draw a line horizontally across it and we'll call it the equator. That's the equator there. Now this equator is zero degrees latitude. Now everything above this line is naught to 90 degrees north and everything below the line is naught to 90 degrees south. So if you're finding a number, you need to look for the N or the S, and it will be between naught and 90 degrees. They're our lines of latitude. Lat is flat, is the way I like to remind my students. Now, but if you're looking for something that's all the way around the world on that line of latitude, you're gonna be there a while. So what we do is we find a place called Greenwich, and we draw a line that's naught degrees longitude all the way around the Earth and we travel 180 degrees east around that line and 180 degrees west around that line. And they are longitudinal lines. And in this way, we break the world up into segments. So we've got the nought degree equator there of latitude and we've got nought to 90 north and nought to 90 south. Once we've got that, We've got nought degrees longitude at Greenwich and 180 degrees east, which will meet up with 180 degrees west. So that is a basic understanding of longitude and latitude and how we split the world up into smaller segments. Wow, what a clear explanation. Well, now we've split the world up into smaller chunks, we realize they're actually still pretty big. So what do they do? Thanks, mate. Enough of the questions already. I'll get to it. Well, just like with another geographical skill, in area reference, if we want to be a little bit more specific, we split each area into smaller areas with a grid, you know, 10 by 10. It's the exact same thing with longitude and latitude. Because each chunk is still, you know, pretty big, and at their most, a degree of latitude is 111 kilometers. We don't split it into 10 segments. We split it into 60. But still, at their biggest, you've got 1.85 kilometers per segment. So we divide each 60th segment into 60 again. That's 60 more segments. And to keep things simple, we call them 60 minutes and 60 seconds. Using this method, we can turn 111 kilometers into practically centimeters. Can you give us an example? Seriously, mate, put your hand down. I'm getting to it. So if we were given the coordinates 87 degrees, 53 minutes and 31 seconds north, we have degrees first followed by minutes and then seconds. So let's say we saw some coordinates, uh, 68 degrees, 23 minutes, 43 seconds north, 160 degrees, 18 minutes and 54 seconds east. Well, we'd start at the equator, then we'd travel north, we'd go to 68 degrees, stop, then 23 minutes, stop, then 43 seconds. Then we'd jump to that Greenwich Meridian line, travel 160 degrees east, then 18 minutes further on and finally 54 seconds. And we'd end up in a delightful wooded area just northeast of Anyusk good times. So that's longitude and latitude. Any questions? Comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.